It is a pleasure to be here with you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a topic I love for many, many reasons. Many reasons. I started my career early in the energy industry, working with executive teams. And it soon became very apparent to me that the executives were not the challenge, were not the problem. I think they get it. Yes, as Robert indicated, a lot of you get sucked into the operational side of the business. I truly love that term. Executives can get on the business, uh, uh, in the business versus on the business very, very easy. <clears throat> and I believe truly that what got us here won't get us there. I think that was uh, Malcolm uh, Goldsmith or uh, who, who said that. And uh, so, my whole premise is this. <clears throat> Senior executives have got to get a lot better about how do we drive strategy deep inside the organization. Now, I know all of you have a copy of the book called Strategies Everybody's Job. But in reality, my favorite book, and if you're interested in a copy of this, I'll be glad to send one to you free, is this one. It's called Strategy is Everybody's Job. I think most people in the organization feel that strategy is something that somebody else does, usually your folks. <clears throat> so when we've done surveys, people, uh, we ask this question, do you know the general direction the organization is moving in? The general direction the organization is moving in. What kind of response do you think we get? It's not very high. 23% of most people in the organization can answer that question positively. I think I understand where this business is going, but I don't know how I fit and why I matter. So when you ask executives, do you need more help in tr getting trans traction and executing the strategy? Probably as many as 83% will say, I've got to have more help if we're going to get agile, transform our business, and get ready for what's next. Then you go back to people inside the organization and say, do you want to help pull this wagon? And again, 78% of the people will say they do. They just don't know how. There's no incentive. There is no expectation. And again, generally speaking, we as senior le level executives oftentimes don't convey what we're trying to accomplish and where we're trying to go. So my message today is really focused on how can we ignite that passion? How can we get people enrolled and engaged in transforming the organization? Because I, I think uncertainty is out there. I don't know what all of you see. I, I personally have a belief that we're right now in a bit of an economic bubble. <clears throat> Uh, I know all of you went through 2008 and 2009 and 2010, as many of my clients went through. And, and so are we really preparing our organizations and our people inside the organizations taking care of their piece of the business? I like to use a phrase, you'll hear me say it a lot this morning, managing the business within the business. In other words, our job is to get them to see that they are running and need to think like an executive over their function, over their department, over their team. In fact, over their lives. My message is, I think people right down to the individual contributor level have got to get a lot more strategic in the way they perform their job. Because look, we're all a solution to somebody's problem. Many of our Many of our customers are out there. I think what we have to get used to is helping people inside the organization that many of their customers are inside. So if you're in IT, if you're in HR, if you're in facilities management, if you're in audit, finance, all these areas, you're running a business, in some cases a pretty big business. And so are you looking entrepreneurially? Are you looking long term? Do you understand where we're trying to transform the business? And are you aligned with your strategy to support that? That's the big challenge. That's the big dilemma that I see out there and the one that I would like to talk about today.